So we've been learning more and more about the features of the Pixel 4 recently. With the official launch in about 10 days time, we're getting more and more detailed leaks about the actual functions and features of the Pixel 4. Last year, the Pixel phones came with something called the Pixel Visual Core, which was actually a separate image processing chip that enabled the Pixel to take some of the best photos from a smartphone. In fact, it was so good that Apple decided that this year they'd get in on the act and develop their version called Deep Fusion. Deep Fusion is the name that Apple give to their version of what is essentially computational photography. How Deep Fusion works, and for the Pixel phones in a very similar way, is that when you take a photograph, the phone actually takes multiple images at different exposures and with different settings. It then uses special algorithms and computing power to put all of that information together and gives you a photo with better dynamic range, that is more information in both the highlights and the shadows, and with less noise, so the picture just appears sharper even though the actual megapixels of the sensor stay the same, which for the iPhone and the Pixel is about 12 megapixels. And those two things together is what just makes photos look so good out of smartphones these days. Google Pixel having a separate process imaging chip is not new though. We even had it last year. It was called the Pixel Visual Core. So it seems Google have chosen to rename this bit of hardware to something that fits in with the current marketing strategy. Besides, the chip could possibly be used for some other things too and maybe some AI tasks. And as of right now, we're not exactly sure what the chip is fully capable of. The neural engine, as it's known now, previously the visual engine is actually incredibly important for smartphone photography and is really the main reason why the Pixel excels. In addition to that, Google have opted for extra hardware, including the zoom camera, which thanks to leaks, we know that the phone is now capable of eight times zoom. Although there's plenty of people that would have preferred an ultra wide to accompany the main camera, but hey, maybe next year. New Google Assistant features, face unlock, and motion sense have all been revealed by leaks. Thanks to leaks from the ever-reliable XDA developers and 9to5Google, we've seen some new features in the Google Assistant and with motion sense. Google have managed to develop a much faster version of the app, taking 100 gigabytes of speech data and turning it into just 0.5 gigabytes, which is impressive, and it means that the Google Assistant now has virtually zero lag. We also found out that you can have conversations with the assistant without calling it each time. Much more like a conversation, which is a good thing. And Google Assistant will now work with more apps than before. Some leaked videos showcasing Motion Sense were revealed. But honestly, considering the amount of hardware that's gone into the big forehead at the top of the phone, including Solly, which has taken years to develop, it seems a little disappointing that all you can do is just wave your hand over the device to turn off alarms or notifications, but it may be a case of the hardware being there, but no software developed just yet. Google have also apparently added face payment functionality with the Google Pixel 4. You can now use Face ID to pay for things, including in the Google App Store, bringing that feature completely in line with what we see on the iPhone. Subscribe for more news, leaks, and rumors regarding the Pixel 4 before the official launch. Anyway, that's it for now, but I'll see you in the next one.